PJ Stahl, Power Systems Master Coach, here to take you through the snatch warm-up. When you're coaching the snatch, you always want to make sure that you're doing a warm-up to start off your client or your class, no matter what. We're going to start with the dowel, then we progress to a barbell, then you can load weight. Using the dowel to start this off first is pretty much your way as a coach to check everything out. I want to see what my athletes are doing before I get them to a barbell and before I load any weight on them to make sure that I can make adjustments to the class or to the movement specifically for each client. I have Sarah and Noah here with me today to make sure that I'm coaching every single movement and watching every movement correctly. So to start off, the first thing is, is get them set up into their position, right? So we're gonna take our dowel just outside of the black tape line. That's gonna be at about hip position and grab on in your hook grip. Always cue that hook grip. Remember, thumb is underneath the fingers to lock the bar onto your hand. Feet are gonna be in your jumping position. So I usually cue to jump up and down a couple times. And right about where you land is where you're gonna to wanna to be. You wanna imagine that you're gonna do a vertical jump, right? If I was gonna put my feet together and jump as high as I can, where is that jumping position? Where do I want my feet? Because that's where the power is gonna come from. The power is gonna come from your hips. So, jumping position, feet under your hips, strong stance. Hands are in that hook grip in your wide overhead squat grip. From there, I'm gonna have them set their feet in their overhead squat stance. So, jumping position, landing position, set your feet out. Take the bar overhead, set your armpits, and show me an overhead squat. You always want to demonstrate every movement when you work your clients through the first round. Reset your feet, then bring the bar back down. We're going to do it three times. Jumping position, landing position, bar up, overhead squat. And one more time, jumping position, landing position, bar up, and overhead squat. And stand, reset your feet, bring the bar down. As your clients are going through this, you're specifically looking for foot position, knee position. Do they have the mobility to get a full squat? Are their shoulders rolling forward? Can they actually maintain good neutral spine, chest up, chin up? I'm evaluating every single movement from the very beginning because this is the foundation of the snatch. After I assess that and we get through this, then we move into the actual snatch warm up. Feet are in your jumping position, hook grip, chest is up nice and tall. We're gonna do three dip and shrugs. You wanna imagine that your back is up against a wall. I'm gonna dip down, jump shrug. Ready, go, one. Three times, arms stay straight, go. Two, speed through your hips, go. Three, nice, your next movement is elbows high and outside. You're gonna dip down, bring the elbows up, keeping the bar close to the body. Ready, chest up. Go. One, reset. Go. Two, keep that bar real close. Go. Three, nice. Your next one is a muscle snatch. You're gonna dip down, flip that bar up over your head as fast as you can, keeping it close. Flip it over quick. Ready? Go. Dip, jump, lock. Nice. Reset. Good. Chest up. Go. Dip, jump, lock. Good. Reset. One more time. Go. Dip, jump, lock. Keep the bar up. Just watch first. Two inch drop. I'm gonna land two inches, stand, reset my feet, then I'm gonna go lower, four inches, reset, six inches, reset, then that full squat, landing tight, focusing on my landing position with my feet. Ready, chest up, chin up, two inches, go. Stand, reset your feet, good landing position, a little lower, not wider, four inches, go. Good, reset, same thing, a little lower, not wider, six inches, go. Reset, full squat, stay tight, deep breath, go. Stand up, good, bring the bar to your waist. Now we're gonna put it all together. From your hips, it's a high hang squat snatch. Chest is up, you're gonna dip, jump, squat, and then stand, ready, go. Dip, jump, squat, nice, stand. Reset your feet, bring the bar down. Good, push your hips back, low hang, squat snatch. From just above your knees, squat snatch, ready, go. Stand, good, reset. And from your shins, the full movement, right? Full movement from your shins, knees drive out, flat back. Go, slow, slow, jump, squat, stand, reset. Good, and you can lightly set your dial down. So that's the slow version. I know it seems like a lot of information, but what I did is I broke down every single movement, I demonstrated every single movement, and I watched the client or the athlete move through it. I'm assessing armpit position, hip position, speed. Are they finishing through their shoulders, right? Use your mental checklist to make sure the athlete's doing everything right. Now let's go through the speed version. So now the athletes know what's happening. 
They've gone through it. Now we're going to do it quick. Ready? Feet in your jumping position. Hook grip. Chest is up nice and tall. Dip, drive, and shrug three times. Ready? Go. One. Arms stay straight. Go. Two. One more. Speed through the hips. Go. Three. Elbows high and outside. Go. One. Two more. Go. Two. Keep that bar close. Go. Three. Nice. Muscle snatch. Fast turnover. Go. One. Reset. Quick turnover. Go. Two. One more time. Even faster. Go. Three. Keep it up. Two inch drop. Go. Reset. Four inch drop. Go. Reset. Six inch drop. Go. Reset. Full squat. Stay tight. Go. Stand up. Bring it to your waist. Put it together from your hips. Squat snatch. Go. Tight. Stand. Reset. Push your butt back. Just above your knees. Squat snatch. Go. Stand. Reset. Full squat snatch from your shins. Ready. Deep breath. Go. Slow, slow. Jump. Stand. Reset. Good. Bring the dial down. Perfect. You can tell how much faster that was than the first one. If you are warming up your clients, you want to run through both versions. You want to teach them the movements first. Make sure they understand it, why they're doing it, what's the purpose. Then you want to work on the speed version. Run through it as many times as you can to get those movement patterns down. Always include that with every warm up anytime you're doing Olympic lift.